the Game Nerd back at you with another pickups video. You'll notice in the back, um, I changed it up a bit. I decided to um, remove my original Nintendo NES set um, and just store it somewhere else. And I'm going to have this whole back wall filled with Wii titles because I am really close to finishing the whole set. I have 45 games left out of the 1,250 Wii games. Um, so when I finish that, I will show you um, the whole back wall, but for now you'll get to see this section. Um, today I'm going to be going over all the garage sale pickups I had today. I only hit up three garage sales, um, and I got a lot of stuff. So. Hopefully you guys like it. Please hit that subscribe button um, if you haven't already, and let's go. So I went garage sailing today, and this is all the stuff I picked up. And it's amazing because all this stuff was from just three garage sales, um, one of which had video games, one of which had all these toys, and the other one... I bought something here at the top that I'll talk about later, and that was my recouper for this week. Um, I like to buy something that might not necessarily be video game or toy related that I would use to recoup the money that I spent for everything. So in total I spent $42 at the three garage sales, um, most of which was spent on the toys. Um, but it was such a good deal, I couldn't really pass it up. Um, the lady that was selling all these toys, um, she had three boys, she told me, and all of them are in their 30s now. So she kept all their toys mostly intact, um, in pretty decent shape, but she didn't really know how to piece everything together, so they're sort of scattered. Um, she did put all the Ninja Turtle stuff, or what she thought were Ninja Turtle stuff. Um, she put in a big bag and charged five bucks for everything. And then um, some of the bigger Ninja Turtle items, like the um, pizza thrower here, which is pretty cool. Um, this, the van, and that driving machine, um, which is pretty cool. I'll show you guys that later. All that was five bucks um, for all three. We got Nerf guns here. She charged me a buck for all this. Not each, all of it, including the darts. So I was like, okay, I'll pay a buck. And um, so she gave me all these cars too. She was just filling my bag with stuff. Um, she had a lot of Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars and I guess these are micro machines. Um, I just decided to just grab handfuls of, of stuff. Um, some of these vehicles are actually transformers. Like this one. If I can focus. Nope, it's not focusing. Anyways, uh, that's a transformer. Also a transformer here. Um, it was really cheap. These were in the 10 cent bin. Um, so I was just grabbing anything that was transformer related. Um, lots of Beast War stuff, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I grew up on um, the Beast Wars era too. Um, not really the uh, first gen because I was too young for that. Um, but these are cool. I mean, they're plastic. They're not um, like die cast or anything, but still, pretty, still pretty cool. So we got some vehicles here. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with all these uh, transformers because I don't really, uh, I don't really collect toys. But um, I just pick them up just because I could probably trade them for video games. Um, I also picked up these three Crash Bandicoots. Um, these were from Hardy or Carl's Jr. in some areas, um, so I think they were like Happy Meal toys um, and these go for about 10 to 15 bucks on eBay I looked it up I mean just these three more than pay for the lot um, then we got some He-Man figures here um, Skeletor 
I mean, I wish they had all their, um, like, weapons and accessories, but I, I really could not tell, um, which accessories went with who, because she had, like, a, a box of miscellaneous, um, accessories as well. And I grabbed a few, of course. Um, I don't know, G.I. Joe, X-Men figures, and Beetleborgs, big bad Beetleborgs, um, VR Troopers, um, some Power Rangers, that's pretty cool, Iron Man, Galactus, yeah, some pretty cool figures, I mean, it's super cheap, so I, I just grabbed a whole bunch, we got Diddy Kong, Blastoise, um, this is, uh, Poacher, this is a spawn figure. It's pretty big and, and hefty here. Um, pretty good quality. Then, of course, we got all the Ninja Turtle stuff. Um, I was really excited to see the pizza thrower. Um, this thing's so awesome. And most of the pizza pieces are, are in there. I just need to put batteries in there and test it out. Um, we got the copter. I mean, a lot of these, yeah, are missing pieces and whatever. Um, the van's pretty dope. Um, it has a spoiler, which is hard to find. But on the other side, so we got the front here. On the other side, it's missing the door. It's missing some of the accessories here in the top. Um, uh, the hinge is good. I mean, this is probably worth... Mm, 15, 20 bucks by itself, um, even in that condition. But it does have some of the accessories, laughing gas, stink bomb. Oh, this goes somewhere here, I think. Then we got just the action figures themselves. I mean, that's pretty cool. Lots and lots of turtles. Now some of them are missing the arms, um, Shredder's missing his cape, but these are really, really fun. I mean, I remember having a lot of these growing up, Bebop and Rocksteady, I don't even think that's his, I thought it was like a gray gun, I don't remember, and they had like some, some of the sewer lids as their shield, but I don't see those accessories. Man, so there's just tons and tons of stuff. But, like I said, some of them are missing their arms. Um, oh, there's his arm right there. So I, I bet I could piece some of it together. But, I mean, here's Donatello. He's missing his back, but I saw his back somewhere around here. Is this it? No. Oh, yeah, this is it. See, I mean... I bet you most of the pieces are here. We just need to piece them all together. Oh. Oh, so I got one that's broken with a broken hand and then one that's complete. So that's fine. And some of these I don't even think are Ninja Turtles. Like, I don't even know. Like this dude. I don't think he's a turtle. Ninja Turtle. Uh, this guy, I'm not sure, but most of these are. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with all these. There's just so much stuff here. Um, I'll probably keep all the ones that are complete. The ones that are missing the arms and I can't fix, I'll probably donate to um, Value Village because it's like a couple minutes away from me. Um, and I'm going to be trading a lot of these for video games because I'm not a huge toy collector, but I do keep some Ninja Turtles, um, some Nintendo related toys, things like that. Um, oh man, this guy's missing his arm. That sucks. Hope it's somewhere around here. But 
I'm really not sure if any of these figures are rare so if you guys know let me know if any of these Ninja Turtle guys are rare this right here oh man I can't wait to play this so this is fully functional I was told by the lady that um, once you get I think a few D batteries in here then it'll work it honks it turns on when you turn on the key you can shift I'm not sure what this oh this opens and closes the little um, visor thing here so you can see their eyes that is pretty dope I've not seen this before I haven't owned one before but that's pretty cool so let's talk about the Recooper really quick. So this is an Exogen Bone Healing System machine. And I paid $2 for it. When I looked it up on eBay, it goes for about 60 and up. Um, like I said, I only paid 42 for this slot. So if I sell this on eBay for 62 minus fees, that definitely covers all this. So I think there's a um, stimulus here. It, you put some some ultrasound gel and like put this on parts of your body like your knee the dude was hella funny though um he was like yeah I had knee surgery at one point and I use this it works great but if I sell it to you you better not use it for no kinky stuff I was like uh, no sir I won't um, here's your two dollars hope you didn't use it for any kinky stuff cuz that would be so gross um, so that was the recouper of the, of the day. And we got a bunch of Batman stuff. Tons of Batmans. Um, then we got some miscell miscellaneous figures there. We got Supermans and a bunch of Batman uh, miscellaneous capes and accessories and vehicles. I was also excited to get these Lego Exo Force um, sets. Now I know they're probably missing some pieces, but at least it has like the mini fig, which is pretty cool. Um, and these are pretty pricey. Um, I was looking online, and they can get pretty pricey for these sets. Um, some of them are like 30 to 50 to 60 bucks. Um, but those are like complete sets. I'm sure, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. If my nephews don't want them, I'll probably try to trade them or put them on eBay. But of course they're not going to be complete, so I won't get as much as normal. Then we got these, X-Men, we got Magneto, I mean the box is crushed, but it was cheap, it was like two bucks, um, and that was before the bundle pricing. Then we got Spider-Man, you could take off his mask, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm sure these are somewhere between 20 to 40 bucks, if they're in good shape, but they're probably worth half that because of the box crushing now these tracks um, this was a buck this starter set was a buck so I decided to get it give it to my nephews they'll have fun with it um, she just threw this in my bag I didn't even want this I don't have Atari I don't collect that far back um, I start with Nint the original Nintendo and anything after that so but I got some extra Atari controllers now this was a cool find. Um, this was two bucks. It's super clean. Why not? No games though, but it is the official adapter. Um, and lastly, um, well, besides the Power Ranger Falcon here, um, we got some video games. And I paid ten bucks for all these. We got a couple of paintball games 007 um, Morrowind Elder Scrolls 3 uh, oh that's the game of the year edition 
So, nice. And then we got Gauntlet Dark Legacy, Half-Life 2, Limited Edition, um, Halo 2, Halo 1, Lord of the Rings, um, Kingdom Under Fire, we got the Limited Edition Halo 3, Steelbook, um, Need for Speed 2, Underground, uh, Castlevania, Curse of Darkness, um, Fable, then we got a PC game, Age of Empires 3, and I actually recently sold one of these um, in the same condition for $10, so um, this alone pays for this whole lot, so that is excellent. So overall, um, these are all the pickups, um, again they'll likely all be free after I sell that recouper over here that exogen bone healing system so thanks for watching hope you guys like the vid again let me know if any of these uh, figures are rare or worth anything um, I'm willing to trade but I've already gotten a bunch of responses via Facebook because I did post the pictures so thank you